For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on how to integrate indefinite integrals using u substitution. On the first example, what is the antiderivative of 4x multiplied by the quantity x squared plus 5 raised to 3 dx? So the first step that we're going to do is to set a value for u so that we can eliminate the variable x. Now, if you have any difficulty in finding the value of u, let me show you this one. If you have an expression raised to certain exponent, the base of the exponent will be the value of u. And if you have e raised to certain exponent, the exponent of e will be the value of u. And if you have a radical sign, the radicand will always be the value of u. And whenever you have a fraction, the denominator is always the value of u. So let's have the first example. On our example, since x squared plus 5 raised to certain exponent, that will be the value of u. So u will be x squared plus 5. And du, that is the derivative of x squared plus 5, that is 2x dx. So we can divide both sides by 2x. So the value of dx will be du over 2x. So let us have the antiderivative of 4x and then x squared plus 5, that is u, raised to 3, and dx will be du over 2x. So let us have the antiderivative of 4x divided by 2x, that is 2. And then let us have u raised to 3, du. So we can move... 2 in front, this will be 2 times the antiderivative of u raised to 3 du. So let us have 2 times the antiderivative of u raised to 3, that is u raised to 4 over 4 plus c. So we can cancel 2 and 4 because they are divisible by 2. So this will be u raised to 4 over 2 plus c. Or you can write as 1 half u raised to 4 plus c. So this time, we can substitute the value of u that is x squared plus 5. So we are going to have 1 half times x squared plus 5 raised to 4 plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, what is the antiderivative of 8 cosine 4x dx? So let us set u as 4x du that is the derivative of 4x that is 4 dx and then let us divide both sides by 4 so dx will be du over 4 so let us have the antiderivative of 8 cosine u and then dx will be du over 4. So we can divide 8 and 4. So this will be the antiderivative of 2 cosine u du. And then let us move 2 in front. This will be 2 times the antiderivative of cosine u du. So let us simplify. Let us have 2 times the antiderivative of cosine u, that is sine u plus c. And then, let us substitute the value of u. We are going to have 2 sine u will be 4x plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, what is the antiderivative of x cubed e raised to x raised to 4? dx. So whenever you have e raised to a certain exponent, the exponent of e will always be the value of u. So the value of u will be x raised to 4. And du, that is the derivative of x raised to 4, and that's 4x cubed dx. So let us divide by both sides by 4x cubed. So let us cancel this one dx will be du over 4x 
cube. So let us have the antiderivative of x cubed e x raised to 4, that's u, and dx will be du over 4x cubed. So we can cancel x cubed. We are going to have antiderivative of e raised to u du over 4. So this one will be moved in front. We are going to have 1 fourth times the antiderivative of e raised to u du. So let us simplify. Let us have 1 fourth multiplied by the antiderivative of e raised to u, that is e raised to u plus c. So this time, let us substitute the value of u, which is x raised to 4. So this will be 1 fourth e raised to x raised to 4 plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, what is the antiderivative of 8x multiplied by the square root of 40 minus 2x squared dx? So whenever you have a radical sign, the radicand will always be the value of u. So the value of u, that is 40 minus 2x squared. And du, that is the derivative of 40 minus 2x squared. The derivative of 40, that's 0. And the derivative of negative 2x squared, that is negative 4x dx. And then let us divide both sides by negative 4x. So dx is du over negative 4x. So let us have the antiderivative of 8x. And 40 minus 2x squared will be u. So this will be square root of u. And dx will be du over negative 4x. So let us have 8x divided by negative 4x. That is negative 2 square root of u du. So let us move negative 2 in front. This will be negative 2 times the antiderivative of square root of u or can be written as u raised to 1 half du. And to simplify, we are going to have negative 2. The antiderivative of u raised to 1 half, that is u raised to 1 half plus 1 divided by 1 half plus 1 plus c. So let us have negative 2 times u, 1 half plus 1, that is 3 over 2 plus c. So let us have 2 times the reciprocal of 3 over 2, since it is written in the denominator, that is 2 over 3, u raised to 3 over 2 plus c. So we can multiply this one and then let us substitute the value of u, that's 40 minus 2x squared. So 2 times 2, or this will be negative 2, that's negative 4. u will be 40 minus 2x squared raised to 3 over 2 over 3 plus c. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, what is the antiderivative of x cubed? over the square of 2 plus x raised to 4 dx. Always remember, whenever you have a fraction, the denominator is always the value of u. So the value of u will be 2 plus x raised to 4. And du, that is the derivative of 2 plus x raised to 4, that is 4x cubed dx. So let us divide both sides by 4x cubed. Let us cancel this one. dx will be du over 4x cubed. So let us have the antiderivative of x cubed over 2 plus x raised to 4, that is u raised to 2, times dx will be du over 4 x cubed. So we can cancel x cubed and we are going to have the antiderivative of du over 4u square. So let us move 1 fourth in front. This will be 1 fourth times 
the antiderivative of du over u square. So what are we going to do here is we are going to have u raised to 2 in the numerator. So this will be 1 fourth times u raised to negative 2 du. And then we are going to have 1 fourth the antiderivative of u raised to negative 2 that is u raised to negative 2 plus 1 divided by negative 2 plus 1 plus c. And to simplify, we are going to have 1 fourth times u raised to negative 1 divided by negative 1 plus c. So we can multiply this one. This will be u raised to negative 1 over negative 4 plus c. And to eliminate the negative sign on the exponent, we are going to write this one in the denominator. This will be 1 over negative 4 u raised to 1 plus c. Or we can write as negative 1 over 4 times the value of u that is 2 plus x raised to 4 plus c. So this will be our answer. Or if you want, you can distribute 4 to each term of the expression. This will be negative 1 over 8 plus 4x raised to 4 plus c. This will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.